thanks for coming everyone it's a bit warm today isn't it but i hope you're kind of i hope you're not too warm so uh my name's is or or elaine calls me tom which is my civil name but i'm an ordained buddhist in the true ratna buddhist order um i've been practicing for uh, quite a number of years really I tend to do sort of quite a lot of uh, meditating and uh, leading meditation sessions. Um, so we'll do. Um, ha I don't know about. I mean, I think bags could do with a bit of a kind of a, a good wishes type uh, meditation. So there's different meditations that we do in our order. Uh, well, the main ones are like mindfulness of breathing, which is well, the clues in the name really. Um, there's one called the Metta Bhavna, and the Metta means loving kindness in Sanskrit, and the Bhavna means cultivation of. Um, so that's like good wishes towards yourself and towards well the entire world basically, um, but that's in stages. Um, we do like a body scan meditation. And because of my uh, condition, which is MS, um, I tend to do a body scan prior to the uh, main meditation that we do. So I might just uh, might just go ahead with that. And uh, maybe, how's Bex doing? Is she going to come over, do you think? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Bex, I don't see that. I've got dodgy eyes as well as everything else. Um, yeah, so we might... Might as well just do a meta bhavna meditation. There's no worries if you've not done it before because I'll completely lead it through. And you can either I mean sit however it's comfortable, ideally with your knees lower than your hips, so that you're um you you kind of um well so you, you don't get sore in that area, also like supporting your your hands with something uh, so your shoulders don't get sore. So um just I'll just get on with it then. Oh. Uh, can you hear me? All right, Bex. Yeah. 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 Okay. So just uh, just getting into your meditation posture. We'll probably meditate for about 40, 40 minutes if that's comfortable for everyone in this heat. Um. So maybe if you haven't got something to support your back. Uh, if you want to, you can lie down or however you choose to sit, really. So I'll, I'll lead it in a way so as to... Um, so it's just however you're going to be comfortable for the next 45 minutes. So not putting any like strain on your your body. So whenever you're ready, just lightly closing the eyes. And then just, uh, just really feeling the contact of the surface on which you're sitting or lying. So depending on your posture, you'll feel in your sitting bones on the chair, the backs of your thighs soles of your feet if you're on a chair you feel it all along the back plus the uh, sitting bones back to the thighs if you're lying on the floor and the heels of the feet so just giving your weight up to the the surface on which you're sitting or lying So just completely giving you weight up to that surface. And just let the earth hold you. So you don't need to uh, make any effort to resist against gravity. Just being held by the earth. So what I normally start by doing is doing some earth breathing. So taking the breath, the energetic breath of prana up from the earth and let it go through the central channel of your body 
and then uh, through the top of your head if you're sitting on a chair if you're uh, lying on the floor just feeling the, the prana the energetic breath just just travel through the back body then out through your your front body so just taking the energetic breath from the earth up through your central challenge of your body out through the top of your head if you're sitting like i say and back down into the earth so if you're lying just just fill in the breath just infuse the body with awareness with loving kindness We're going to do a, a loving kindness meditation today. So it's awareness of our, ourselves, our own personal metta, which is uh, yourself. But also, uh, you're going to extend your field of metta towards a good friend, neutral person, difficult person and all the world so just starting with yourself starting with your heart center so just an awareness of your open heart before moving on to the the head the crown of the head so just feeling any tactile sensations here so just feeling the uh, the warm air probably on the skin just moving your attention across the forehead down to the two eyebrows just having no tension here either at the eyebrows or between the eyebrows just letting this area be soft and just moving your attention now to the the temples each side of the head so imagine the the dimples are deepening as you rest your attention there so your eyeballs in the eye sockets just uh, imagine you've got a telly at the back of your head and so you're watching that telly so your gaze isn't out towards the world it's out to your inner world and so you might even feel like the eyeballs are softening or shrinking so you don't need to actually look anywhere you don't need to go out to anyone do anything just being with yourself so just bringing some awareness to the the jaw the lips and the tongue and again holding no tension in any of these areas so just completely releasing any tension in the jaw, the lips and the tongue the cavity of the mouth, it can be big it can be unobstructed your tongue just can be sitting in the bottom palate and see if you can engage with this one but it's, I bring mindfulness to my gums hold loads of tension here especially when I've been working or driving or something 
so there'll be different areas for you where you hold tension but see if you can just keep relaxing keep being mindful of those areas which will just soften as soon as you bring them to mind so just bring in some mindfulness now to the area where the top of the spine meets the base of the skull which is the sacrum joint which is again an area where people can hold some tension here so see if you can just let this area be soft if you sat up on a chair you will have to make some effort to hold your head up so your neck muscle will have to do some work but see if you're lying on the floor you can just soften your neck muscles let the sacrum joint just drop into the earth so now you can just sweep over both shoulders take your awareness towards your shoulder joints Now what I always do is just imagine your, your shoulder joints are open and your, your arms are just falling out of your shoulder joints like a waterfall, like fluid awareness. Collecting at your hands, the uh, fizzy sensations in the hands. Loads of nerve endings here. So you might feel the touch of your hands on the on the lap or on the on the earth. Again, just letting the hands be held by the surface. And just depending on how you're sitting or lying. Just bringing some awareness to the trunk and to the touch of your your trunk on the on the earth or on the chair. And again, just sinking into our surface. So bring in some awareness to the belly. Just allow the belly to be soft. Again, people can hold tension here. So if you notice the movement of the breath in the belly, then you, your belly is soft. So noticing the sacrum joint, which is at the bottom of your spine. Again, sinking into the chair or sinking into the, the floor. Lots of a nerve, it's well, a nerve center here. So bringing some awareness of the pelvic girdle, the bowl of your pelvis. And again, like with the shoulder joints, just imagine the pelvic joints are opening and the legs are just falling out of the um, pelvic joints, just like a waterfall. Just fluid awareness. Again, collecting at the pulls of your feet. Just noticing the sensations in the feet.
whatever sensations you feel here pleasure pain neutral just that's just what you're working with my, my feet feel a bit painful so I'm taking some medication for that but it's just uh, just whatever you feel there it's just what you're working with So just let your, yeah, let, let your whole body just sink into the surface. Just be held by the chair. Just now bring in some awareness to the center of your chest, your heart center. So again, just checking out how you're doing today, how you're feeling. Whatever you notice there is just fine, it's just where you're starting. Just including any sounds as part of your part of your experience, not be drawn in, not telling any stories, just letting the sounds just be sounds. Just continuing to focus on your heart centre. So again, just checking out how you you doing today. How you feeling? Stand with your body. So in the first stage of the Metta Bhavna meditation, we'll uh, wish ourselves well. You can do this in a number of ways. Traditionally, we drop phrases like a stone into the pool of your heart, like the waves of Metta just ripple out through your body. So you can say to yourself, just say to yourself silently, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be at peace. Over and over in your awareness, again, just, just drop in these phrases in like a stone into water. So may you be well. May you be happy, may you be at peace. And if you get distracted either by any tension which arises or any sounds or anything or just don't be too hard on yourself just because you will just get distracted but just keep returning back to yourself to your well wishing.
So see when you say it, can you really mean it? Can you really connect with your own desire for happiness? Desire to be well, to be free from suffering. So just bathing in the forest, <coughs> letting all the goodness just come into our hearts. So just keep dropping those phrases in, just in this first stage. So may I be well, may I be happy, may I be at peace. Choose your own phrases if you want, but they're the traditional ones. So next stage of the practice, you can just call to mind a good friend, someone who we've got existing positive feelings towards. So wishing the same for them as you just wish for yourself. So may they be well, may they be happy. May they be at peace. Just dropping the phrases over and over. Just thinking of the person in your head, but just holding the meta in your heart as you just drop the phrases in. Just opening your heart completely to your good friend. You share so much with this person, you share common humanity both don't want to suffer they want to be free some people even do this practice with a big smile on their faces so just feel free to do that if you want.
yeah, not getting too worried if you do get distracted. Just uh, bringing yourself back when you notice. So may they be well, may they be happy, may they be at peace. Just staying with your good friend just for a couple of minutes. Just giving your whole attention to your heart, cent heart centre. Let your heart go out to your friend. Third stage of the practice, just calling to mind a neutral person. So that could be someone that you don't know too well. Could be a postman, could be a shopkeeper. Just someone that you can hold their image in your mind, but you don't have existing positive feelings towards. So, may this person be well, may this person be happy, may this person be at peace with themselves and the world. So cultivating metta towards this person. So many neutral people to choose from, but just choosing quickly. And then just staying with that person. So may they be well, may they be happy, may they be free from suffering. May they achieve their human potential. And just letting any distractions, any sounds just be there, including it as part of your meditation. Come back to them in the fifth stage. So for now, just staying with the neutral person.
we're just trying to give your heart completely You might be starting to feel a bit stiller, a bit more positive. <laughs> just keep coming back to your own heart centre and just giving it up to the neutral person. this stage we call to mind someone that we have a bit of difficulty with not someone that you've completely fallen out with but just maybe a a friend who just had a crossword with or something so just thing and again just choosing quickly So again, may your difficult, difficult person be well, may they be happy in their life, may they be at ease. May they experience freedom from suffering. See if you can really stay with a difficult person. Again, you might might tell a, a story or two about your righteous indignation towards your difficult person, but see if you can just wish them well. Allow them this matter which you've experienced, which all the previous stages of experience, just wish that for this person. See if you can open your heart up to them. It can be anyone actually, but some say so you've just had some road rage on the way here and that can be them just try to hold them and you thought well it's giving them this meta See if you can soften towards this person. So may they be well, may they be happy, may they be at ease.
Okay, not too, don't worry too much if you get distracted. Maybe the distractions will become less the longer you sit. this final stage we're just uh, extending our matter towards the world so we're starting local we're starting with the group that we've called to mind in previous stages maybe you can imagine that we're sat around with them in solidarity maybe we can be in this wood with them and then we can extend further out towards all of Berry towards all of Manchester And towards northwest and keep doing that geographically. Just imagine your your waves of meta which started with yourself is just now spreading to the entire world of sentient beings. caught in this cycle of suffering but may they be free from suffering may all beings be well may all beings be happy may all beings be at peace just extending just wider and wider see if, how far you can get Now go quiet for two or three minutes, just seeing if you can experience this sense of meta for yourselves and for the world.
So a complete open hearted awareness for all sentient beings. I'll ring the bell in a minute or so, but the invitation is just to drop all effort. Drop all effort and just sit. Just with the fruits of your, your practice. Just taking stock of the meditation. Don't need to go uh, anywhere, don't need to do anything, you can just sit with yourself, with your own practice, stay with your eyes 